everyone. Hope you are all having a wonderful night or day, depending on what time you're watching this, obviously. I've decided I was going to be talking about a game that I've been playing recently called Elden Ring. So, if you don't know what Elden Ring is, basically it's like a Dark Souls sort of game, which if any of you have never heard or played Dark Souls, it's basically like challenging game, kind of think of it like compared to both, like, basically you got like dragons and like, a very dark things and such, and uh, basically this is kind of like Dark Souls, Elden Ring, but like, it's open world and it has like, very beautiful environments and the visuals are something that I definitely like it's very visually appealing <laughs> and the art style looks very It's got like, it's pretty challenging of a game. It, you basically have like, you can create like your character and you can pretty much make your character however you wish to look, pretty much. And you can make your character look very silly or as stupid as possible or just a normal person, but I'm pretty sure though most people would make them look pretty stupid as shown here. So, yeah. And basically, the game is about where you pretty much like end up like exploring like this open world map you do and you kill like a bunch of like enemies and you gain like these souls or points and you essentially like gain them so you level up so you become a lot stronger and you become powerful so when you like deal with like a boss that's been giving you trouble you'll be powerful enough to be able to encounter them in Dark Souls you could pretty much explore, but it was sort of like a linear game. But there was like things you could find and explore, but it's nowhere like near this sort of scale with Elden Ring, where it's basically a full-on open world game, where it pretty much encourages you to explore and pretty much like there are like certain bosses that you can pretty much avoid and you don't always have to fight there are like some however that you do need to fight in order to progress through the game but there are some others that are optional and you don't always have to fight but if you do you will get rewarded with certain things, so I would say it's worth doing it. As for the story so far, what it's basically about, without trying to spoil anything, basically, you're pretty much like a, what is known as a tarnished, essentially you're someone who had died before, but you were brought back to life again, and each time die, he'll keep coming back. However, each death makes you lose some of your insanity. 
which is kind of like, um, basically something like in the real world, because pretty much this game has you where you pretty much die over and over again. But, however, I kind of do sort of like that. It kind of, like, gives me a good reason to want to keep playing, so I keep trying to learn and to adapt and be able to eventually counter whatever it is that essentially may give me trouble. And so there's like this girl who essentially like gives you some kind of ring which you basically can use to basically call in a horse pretty much. And yeah. And there's also been like some memes also based off of it, based off of the game, and uh, it's gotten over 12 million people playing it, and there's even some fan art made about it, and uh, it is, has a pretty wide fan base, so um, yeah, and uh, I actually really like Elden Ring. In fact, I'd probably go as far to say I love it. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this. And I hope you all have a wonderful time. So, yeah. I'll see you later.